So this is a video about should Fukushima use bananas and the name was supposed to pop up. Should Fukushima use bananas to power the future? Um, and there's a comment there and so when you click on it from Huma Intin, what you ended up with was, and I'll get rid of this one here, uh, Tim Worstall. The Fukushima radiation leak is equal to 76 million bananas. 76 million bananas. Wow. Just wow, Tim. What did the world do to you to make you that angry? I wonder that you would say something like that. Why didn't your editors catch that? And why didn't your production catch that? Why didn't Forbes catch that? Why would Forbes allow you to put up that headline, I wonder? 76 million bananas. And what he's doing is he's talking about disintegrations per seconds with Beckwells in the nuclear terminology of 40 trillion Beckwells released into the Pacific Ocean so far. Now this uh, article came out on the 8th, 10th day of um, 2013. So it wasn't very long ago. It's kind of interesting because Forbes went up for sale um, a couple of months later. Now, Tim also wrote this article here, uh, NSA Prism sounds like a darn good idea to me. That's what the government is for, to spy on you and track, trace, and database you and watch you all the time. Well, you can't make that stuff up. But yeah, Forbes went up to sale um, because they got people like that there and the editors won't stop it, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Now, Tim, Tim, uh, he's got a blog. It's really bad. I'm not going to dwell on that one. But he was, uh, he sells, he's a consultant and a dealer in scadium and other exotic metals. Well, well, uh, scadium is an isotope. It's a short-lived isotope, which is really interesting, isn't it? That here's somebody that understands that, makes a living off that, but he's claiming that 76 million bananas is the equivalent of the radiation coming out of Fukushima. He's, he's, he's so what he's doing is he's equating bananas with uranium-234, uranium-235. So if you took a piece of uranium-234, 235, the same size as a banana, you can kill everybody in your community. And then you can go to every community on the planet with that one piece, the size of a banana, the single banana, and you can kill everybody in every community. If you were dropped that into a uh, lake, you would pollute the lake till the end of time, and you would go to jail till the end of time. You would be the biggest criminal on the planet till the end of the time. If Al-Qaeda had a banana size of uranium, which is what he's equating it to in this article here, and it's amazing that Forbes never caught this and that their editors never stopped this, but if you had a banana size piece of uranium or plutonium, that's a dirty bomb. It's the same thing that they use in the A-10 Warthog to fire in other countries, but that's uranium-238 because it's underwent chain reaction. That's why 234, 235, the plutonium's, you know, 24,000 year half-life, but it's so deadly, it so, uh, gets into your body so readily, it's equated into your system so fast. Uh, this is amazing that somebody that deals in heavy metals, and, and, and scadium is actually a byproduct of uranium. And so he's equating uranium, 234, 235, that's coming out of Fukushima nonstop. At the, the New York Times, we're saying it's 600 tons a day. We got peer review models that show that the ocean is radiated just after the first two weeks of the releases in a six year period, but that's just using uh, cesium 137, uh, which is code word for uranium and plutonium, by the way because you'll never hear uranium plutonium put into a sentence, but uh, it's, it's amazing that Forbes done that. What, what were they up to that they allowed this creature to write this article? And what is he up to to write this article? Uh, why, what, he got 92,000 views on it. This is outrageous. This is an absolute betrayal of humanity that somebody would equate a banana with uranium-234, 235. Remember, the reactors don't run on bananas. They run on uranium plutonium they don't run on strontium they don't run on iodine 131 with a half-life of seven days right think about the iodine 129 with a half-life 15 million years iodine 129 15 million year half-life right and a half-life you got to multiply it by 10 
So it's a 15 million year half life, then it's actually uh, 150 million year life because it breaks down into different radioisotopes till it finally gets down to scantium, which is what he makes his money off. This is one of the most outrageous, most uh, criminal things you can imagine that you're looking at on the screen. It's embarrassing that somebody on this planet would do that, particularly embarrassing when somebody makes money off uranium byproducts, like Tim does. And I, I would like to see 2,000 blogs tear this person apart today and put an end to his career and his future, because that's what he deserves. We won't get our way, but that's what he deserves and in the future, that's what people like this will be getting, except it'll be a million people screaming at him that he's a monster and that we need to put monsters like that away, right? Because he also wrote that article about prison, how the government should monitor everybody. That's what the governments are for, he said. So that's not a real human. That's a creature. That's a critter. Take care, folks. And uh, if you feel like a blog him out, and tell him that a banana got nothing to do with uranium-234, uranium-235. The situation may be worse than thought. Uh, studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years.